Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Friday Eve to you all. I pray that you guys received sweet sleep last night and woke up with bells and whistles on. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hey there, Heartbeat Eva, good morning to you. Hey, Heartbeat Melodia, Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald, Heartbeat Lisa, Heartbeat Rodney, Heartbeat Carolyn, Heartbeat Rainey, Harvey Lamont, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the Heart Gatherer. Hey there, Heartbeat Bernice. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation on I'm Having a Stress-Free 2023 Part 3. And so, so far, we've gone over... The tips to have a stress-free 2023 one would be cast your cares on God for he cares for you. Number two, attend church regularly, virtually, or in person. Three, avoid negative people. They zap your joy, your happiness, and they alter your attitude. Number four, which was the last one we did last uh, yesterday, eat healthy, exercise regularly, and get the proper rest. Hey there, Heartbeat Yolanda and Heartbeat Tanya. Today, we will continue on in number five, no comparing yourself to others. This is how we have a stress-free 2023. No comparing yourself to others. Game over for trying to keep up with the Joneses. Amen. Game over for trying to keep up with the Joneses. 2 Corinthians 10, 12. The New Living Translation says it like this. Oh, don't worry. We wouldn't dare say that we are as wonderful as these other men who tell you how important they are, but they are only comparing themselves with each other, using themselves as the standard of measurement. How ignorant. And so we don't compare ourselves to others. One, the Bible just told us that it's ignorant. We don't compare ourselves to others who compare themselves to others who set their own standards. If we're going to compare ourselves to someone, we're comparing ourselves to Jesus. Are our ways his ways? Are our thoughts his thoughts? Are our responses his responses? And so the measuring tool that we want to use if we're going to compare ourselves is to compare ourselves to Jesus. I like to compare myself to the me of yesterday. Was I a better Regina today than I was yesterday? Did I improve on my attitude? Did I improve on my responses? Did I improve on my actions from yesterday? So I'm only competing with myself. Are you better than you were yesterday? If you look back over the last week, have you improved? Did you study the word more? Did you give God more of your time? So I'm comparing myself to myself and bringing my ways up to the ways of God. And so the Bible tells us here, game over for trying to keep up with the Joneses. Get out of everybody else's life and compare yourself to Jesus the Christ, the one who made you. Get into his presence and bring your ways up to his ways. Galatians 6, 4, the message says it like this. Make a careful exploration of who you are and the work you have been given and then sink yourself into that. Don't be impressed with yourself. Don't compare yourself with others. Each of you must take responsibility for doing the creative best you can with your own life. And so when I take the time to look at my own life and compare myself to myself, see, that is how I bring my ways up to God's ways. It says, don't compare yourself with others. See, this is what you have to realize when you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, you have no idea what the Joneses are doing to keep up with what they have. You may think that they look good on the outside, but you have no idea whether they're pulling hair out when they close that door, whether they're robbing Peter to pay Paul to look the look, to drive the drive, to live the live. You know, so you've got to stop comparing yourself to others. You've got to stop, you know, shooting shade at Jesus like you're not good like you are. Remember, Jesus is the one who created you. So you're kind of like shooting shade when you're saying, I need to compare myself to this person like I'm not good enough the way that you have created me. 
And so we're no longer going to try to keep up with the Joneses. We're keeping up with Jesus the Christ. Am I who you say I am? When you look down from heaven, are you smiling? Are you pleased with me? Am I bringing my ways up to yours? The Amplified says it like this, but each one must carefully scrutinize his own work, examining his actions, attitudes, and behavior. And then he can have the personal satisf satisfaction and inner joy of doing something commendable without comparing himself to another. See what happens here. This is how we keep stress in our lives because we're so busy competing with others and comparing ourselves to other people. But game over for that. This is a stress-free 2023. I'm now going to learn how to love me. I'm going to be happy with where God has me and where God is taking me. I will only be comparing me to me and me to Jesus. Amen. So we don't want to miss the glory that's going on in our own life because we're looking at someone else's life. Remember the prodigal son, the one who um, stayed home. Remember when he heard that his brother was coming back, he got upset because there was a party being thrown. He went to his dad and he's like, I'll be dad going. You going to plan a party for this dude who just went and just spent up all your money. He didn't care about you. He was disrespectful. He asked for his inheritance while you were still alive. I'm here working in the field, doing everything you want me to do. And you've never thrown me a party. What did his father say? Hold up, son. Flag on this play. He said, you had everything all the time. I was right here with you. You had access to me and anything that I had. But what happened? Because he was comparing himself to his brother, he missed the glory. He missed everything that he already had in his own life because he was comparing himself to a brother who had gotten out of the, out there, not happy that he had repented and come back home. So make sure that you don't miss what God is doing in your life because you are comparing yourself to someone else. Amen. Number six, fall in love with Jesus. This is my favorite one. I'm having a stress-free 2023 because I'm falling in love with Jesus. All of us know what it feels like to fall in love with Jesus. All of us know what it feels like to be in love. You know, anything they say you think is funny when you think of them, you know, you smile, you just want to be with them all the time. You know, you fall, you know, when you real in love, you know, you're like, I'm, I'm falling in love all over again. It's so that's what you have to do to fall in love with Jesus. Fall in love each and every day. This is how you have a stress-free 2023. John 3.16 says it like this, and I'm reading in the Passion Translation. Hey there, Heartbeat Darius, what's up, cuz? John 3.16, the Passion Translation says it like this, for here is the way God loved the world. He gave his only unique son as a gift. So now everyone who believes in him will never perish but experience everlasting life. This is how you fall in love with Jesus. God gave us his only begotten son that who might call on him, whoever might believe on him, that they shall not perish but have everlasting life. Oh, what love God has for us. John 15, 9, the Passion Translation says it like this. I love each of you with the same love that the Father loves me. You must continually let my love nourish your hearts. And so when you begin to fall in love with Jesus, glory to God, not only do your ways become his, your, his ways become your ways and his thoughts become your thoughts, but your heart is kind of like overpowered with the love of God. You now find yourself just loving on people. You find yourself just forgiving people. Why? Because I've now fallen in love with Jesus and I can't help myself. The flesh is under control. The spirit man is leading me and I'm loving like God. I'm living like God. I'm experiencing the abundant life that Jesus lived, came and died for. Oh, what love he has for me. The Amplified Classic said, no, Amplified says it like this. I have loved you just as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love 
and do not doubt my love for you. He says, I've loved you like the father has loved me. Then he says, now remain in that love. Don't doubt my love. You know what I've done for you. You've experienced my love. I don't care what's going on in your life. You remain in my love. Don't you ever doubt that I love you. Don't you ever doubt that I will forget you. He says this in scripture. He says, I will never forget you. He said, there's a picture of you in the hand, in the imprint of my hand. Every time God raises his hand to do a miraculous work, he sees a picture of you. And so you're never forgotten. And so then I want to read one of my favorite Psalms here. And it's Psalm 139. And I'm going to be reading this in a message version. And it says this, God, investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and you know when I get back. I'm never out of your sight. How in the world could you not fall in love with Jesus when you're never out of his sight? You're never out of his reach. That all he has to do is just reach way down and pull you up. Hallelujah. He says this, you know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there. Then up ahead and you're there to your reassuring presence coming and going this is too much it's too wonderful i can't take it all in is there any place i can go to avoid your spirit to be out of your sight if i climb to the sky you're there if i go underground you're there if i flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon you'd find me in a minute you're already there waiting then i said to myself oh he even sees me in the dark at night i'm immersed in the light it's a fact darkness isn't dark to you night and day darkness and light they're all the same to you oh yes you've shaped me first inside then out you formed me in my mother's womb i thank you high god you're breathtaking body and soul i am marvelously made i worship in adoration what a creation you know me inside and out you know every bone in my body you know exactly how i was made bit by bit how i was sculptured from nothing into something like that that does it for me glory to god how how I was sculpted from nothing into something like an open book you watched me grow from conception to birth all the stages of my life were spread out before you the days of my life all prepared before I even lived one day I'm telling you if you want to live a stress-free 2023 you have got to fall in love with Jesus more and more every day the one who took nothing and made you into something the one who sculpted you the one who wakes you up every morning the one who has breathed the breath of life into your body the one who calls your name no matter how many mistakes you make the one who says you're still worthy when you don't feel worthy the one who says regardless of your past you're still in my image the one who says you don't have to qualify to be mine that I'm your God and you sure love my people the one who calls you friend the one who loves you when no one else loves you I'm telling you to be in a stress-free 2023 you have got to fall in love with Jesus glory to God hey listen that's your daily dosage for today I'm happy having a stress-free 2023 part three. Listen, I love you guys a bunch. I want you to have a spec while amazing day. I want you to look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please don't, please do so because you can catch up on all of your dosages. In the words of heartbeat keynotes, they won't kill if you overdose, but they will heal. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole, and I am getting whole by the minute. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS, the wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Once again, I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning as we close out the tips on how to have a stress free 2023. See you tomorrow morning at 7 30 a.m. Remember, make it spec while amazing and look out for falling blessings.